we're on lesson number two from topic two. Um, the goal of today is I can use different ways to tell if a group of objects shows an even or an odd number. So we're continuing with even and odd. We're going to decide based on that number if it is even or if it is odd. We've got to show, which means we're going to be making a model. Um, let's pretend that we're trying to decide if the number 10 is even or if it is odd. If I had the number 10, I'm trying to decide if I could put that into equal groups. If it was in equal groups, that would mean that it was even. If I had one that was left over, that would signify that it was odd. Um, let's discuss the number 10. I'm going to just draw 10 random circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's number 10. Um, another way that you can do it, besides putting them onto like two plates, kind of what we talked about yesterday, um, is to pair them up. A pair is two. So if I can pair them up and not have any leftovers, then that would mean that it is even. So if I am going to, and my marker does not want to work, there's one pair, there's another pair of two, another pair of two, another pair of two. Um, I've got five pairs of two. I don't have any leftovers. The number 10 is even. Um, let's do another number. If the number was, let's try the number 14. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there are fourteen circles. If I can pair them up and not have any leftovers, that means that there that number fourteen is even. If I have a leftover, that means that number fourteen is odd. So we're pairing them up into groups of two. Two in each of my little circle bubbles would mean that it is even. Because I don't have any leftovers, the number 14 is even. Um, let's do another example. Let's pretend the number is 17. If I had the number 17, I'm going to try to make this a little bit neater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. I'm going to pair them up. Remember, pair is a group of two. And see if I have any leftovers. If I have leftovers, it means it's odd. If everything works out and there's nothing left out, that means that it is even. So groups of two. There's two, two, another group of two. Two, two, two. I've got one that's left over. I'm not going to circle that one because it's not in a pair. Um, the number 17 is odd. I also remember that Mrs. Lane said if it ends with a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, or a 9, those numbers are odd. For this, you're going to have to show a model. So even though this is something that you might memorize, you have to show a model. Here's a way that you could model that the number 17 is odd. Um, it's not the only way that you could model that the number 17 is odd. Let's talk about another way that you could model. Let's choose the number 8. Um, for the number 8, this time, I'm going to model with an array. Um, in order to show that I have equal groups, I'm going to have to have an array that has two rows. Remember, rows go left to right. And the columns are what goes up and down. So columns are going up and down, and rows are going left to right. Remember that. Um, so the number 8, and I want to show it in an array. So I'm going to do it in rows of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, and 8. So I've got two rows. Remember, rows go this way. If I was going to just circle that, here's my row. Here's my other row. There are two rows, and I have a total of 8. The rows are even. They both have 4. So the number 8 is even. An equation that I can use to show um, my model would be 4 plus 4 equals 8. 
And you're right, it is a doubles fact. So doubles facts, remember, our doubles facts all have sums that are eight. Even numbers are numbers that you can skip count by twos, um, and you will get to that number. So two, four, six, eight, eight is even. For this, you're going to have to make a model to prove that the things are either even or if they are odd. So that's kind of what your goal is for today. Um, you'll be given some different numbers and have to decide by making a model if that it is even or if it is an odd number. Um, some of the models are going to look a little bit like this. Pretend like that's perfect. It's just not. I know. I know. Um, so some of your models might look like this. Do you see this like one little guy over here that's hanging out? This would show a model of something that is odd. If there was something that was even, remember the rows and columns would have the same um, endpoint. So this one has three on, on um, the first row and three on the second row. It is an even array. It's an even number. Even though the number three at the end of each of those rows is odd, the array has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in that, so the number six is what is even. Even though these add-ins, if you were going to um, add these numbers together, even though those add-ins are, are odd numbers, the sum is what we're looking at, that sum is six. If I was gonna look back at this one where I have this odd number, this first row has three, the second row has, so I, think, I think I just said that was three. That's the number four. Four, and then this one has three. Four plus three has a sum of seven. Seven is what is odd. So this is an array of the number seven, which the number seven, this is just the evidence that it is an odd number. Sticking with the same number of seven, showing it in a different way, um, would be to try to um, pair up the number seven um, and see if there are any leftovers. So pairing it into groups of two will show you that you can have one, two, three groups of two, but then you have this little guy over here that doesn't fit into a pair. Because it can't pair up, you know that the number seven is odd. If you were going to do the thing that we did yesterday with um, the the plates and you had seven of something and you want to see if you can put one on each plate um, until you run out and see if you have um, any leftovers or if each plate will have an equal number. I'm trying to figure out how to word that. I know that's not perfect. All right, number seven. So one over here, then we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will show you again that four is over here, three is over there. These numbers are not the same. So these are not equal groups. These groups are odd. They are not the same. They are not equal groups. When something is not in equal groups, it is odd. I hope you got this. Um, so again, same deal. This is what you're gonna be working on. If you're trying to decide if something is even or odd, Deciding if it can get into equal groups is going to help you tremendously. Drawing out your model is going to help you as well. Even numbers, you can skip count by twos to get to that number. Um, odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine, you can't skip count to it. If you were going to pair them up, somebody would be left out. You would have an odd man out. Um, so your evens and your odds, you've got this.